Okay. For moving control point, we have another important tool is here. Move UVN. It's very important and it's very useful. Look at these images. For example, you can click and drag and change the, uh, make it bigger. As you can see, for example, in this point, and this is a graph uh, of that curve. And in this point, as you can see, one of the U and V direction are tangent to the curve. And one of these exactly aligned to the curve. It's normal point. This is a UV for point. It moves in this direction in U and V. Another U and V is for uh, surfaces. For example, in this point, in this blue, this is a normal. They go Z and this is a U and V. You can move in these directions. For example, if you come here and you want to change it <clears throat> and move it, you have to select the control point and then move U and V. Here you can move U, V and normal. If you want to move it slightly, you can use this. As you can see, it's this is not gumball movement. This is a directional movement. As you can see, direction aligned, it's normal. A tangent. <clears throat> Another direction is V. It's going in this direction. If you want to move faster, you can change the scale of the movement here. And done. Or by 10, as you can see, you can go faster by these clicks. <clears throat> this is for curves that are not very important for the curves. The most important thing for move U and V is for a surface, for example. For example, <clears throat> sorry for that. We have a control point there, as you can see, for example, we move it a little up. As you can see, we have a control point here or maybe this control point. As you can see, it's control point. If you want to move it exactly in U and V direction, you have to use it here. As you can see, it's change direction of in U and the V. And direction of the normal of the surface is going in this direction. If you want to move it <clears throat> exactly align it, and it's going back to its position. Interesting. So in moving along the tangent, if you want to moving along the control polygon, it means it's move in this dashed line. If you move it from U, no, V. As you can see, it's exactly <clears throat> move along this point and at this point. This is an aligned control polygon. Along the extension, it imagine an extension of the that point and move around that. Another interesting option is U and V symmetry. For example, in this example, uh, if you want to <clears throat> uh, move this with click and drag control point in this direction and you want to symmetrically you uh, move, for example, this, you can hold both of them, hold shift and uh, click and drag to select, select that roll up the control point and symmetry both U and V. Interesting. If you select in a U, as you can see, both of them symmetrically move in a U and V direction or in a U, V. Interesting. You can do it symmetrically if you want. <clears throat> this is symmetry for U and V. But another important option is smoothing. The smoothing, especially for, cre uh, for correcting the intersection of the surface. It's very interesting and important. You have to know it. We have an <clears throat> object here that it has to, it is closed solid poly surface. If you uh, select the control point, it does not because you have to break it, explode it, explode it, and then select it again, explode from the caps. And now you can see the control point. As you can see, we have a lots of <clears throat> intersection points there. Okay, the smoothing comes here. You have to <clears throat> select these control points that are intersected with, uh, with these two control points here. So for selecting them, we have to use lasso. 
type lasso selection that I explained in the previous lesson and go and select these points okay and then the right click we can select all of these <clears throat> and interesting you can see with you a smoothing it smooths and correct the positions click and drag click and drag anytime you see your point and just smoothing smoothing till your problem solved smoothing smoothing do it from the top to don't confuse it smoothing in a u <clears throat> or smoothing in a v test it which smoothing is proper and suitable for you nice and of course you can go <clears throat> and lasso again and select mm, this polygon like smoothing the V nice this is a curve and if you go to the you turn it off as you can see we color co correct that issues very easy with the smoothing so remember move you always use uh, smoothing it's because this most important option here to solve these intersections that is, is annoying it's it's usual because uh, we have a tight curve here uh, and we have a bigger big diameter of its piping it is a piping tool okay? it's a piping tool with this curve and if you want to see the control points it has to be surface not poly surface because it has combining several surfaces and the control point is just one one object you have to select one object so explode it and then you can see its control points okay this is move you we and normal hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.